The fifth topic is on rotational symmetry. We need to find the order magnitude of symmetry and then we need to also identify whether it has point symmetry. What does all this mean? First of all, if you can rotate any object, now rotate this object and if it is shaping into itself, now say imagine I will take this as A and this one as B. Now let me rotate this. This will come down over here and this all will change its places, okay? And if this is C, C will come down, D will come down, everything changes. So now the base will be B, the A will go to the left side like this, A, and then if you sh just, uh, you know, shape it itself, okay, that's a, not that accurate, but I hope you get, uh, understand what I'm trying to say over here. So then now if you look carefully, it'll be something like this this object whenever you rotate it it's going to shape into itself when when you rotate its side by one by one so this is having a rotational symmetry that's it rotational symmetry means you need to rotate the object and you must get the same object before 360 degrees now 360 means the entire turn no not 360 before 360 yes we got it how do we understand how many degrees do we have to turn this it's very simple. First, you need to see the order. How many times can you rotate this to get the same image? In this case, it's the number of sides because each time I change the side, I'm going to get it. That's one, two, three, four, five. Five. The order is five. Let me clear all this. The order would be five over here. The rotational symmetry exists. Yes. Order is five. Now, what about the magnitude? Magnitude is always given by... 360 degrees the total angle divided by the order that is over here in this case phi that you should just solve it in the calculator so 36 times 2 will be 72 7 um, yeah 72 I believe yes 72 degrees so this is the answer over here now how we got it we have to find the order and divide it by 360 and that's it you will get the answer for the magnitude now what next other things they have told about something called point symmetry right what is this point symmetry point symmetry is basically if you can shape this uh, you can rotate this object along 180 degree along the point of origin so now what what it means is imagine I have a rectangle like this okay now, if I do 90 degree rotation, it will be something like this. No. But if I do again 180 degree, it's going to be the same rectangle. So whenever you can rotate an object along 180 degree along its center, then it is point symmetry along its point. Now, what is the shortcut to uh, you know find this out? Make this upside down. So make this upside down. This goes up. It will change like this and then the pointy finger, uh, pointy part comes down. No, it's not. Okay, that is a very bad drawing. But I just hope you understand the, what I'm trying to say. It will be looking like this, isn't it? The pointing comes down. If you make it upside down, 180 degree means upside down, isn't it? So no, it's not the same. There is no point symmetry. That's it. If it was, say, the letter Z, turn it like this. One turn, it will be N. But again, you turn it, it will be again Z, isn't it? Can you see this? Z. If you turn once, this will come this side. It will be N. Now again, turn this to the other side down. It will be Z. This has point symmetry. So this is the example. Now let's see one more problem. A few more. Over here, this one. As you look at it, you can see one of the shape is so odd over here. It doesn't matter how much you change. See, all are straight, but this is odd. So one time you rotate, this is going to come up then it's going to be like this side. There is no way you will get any symmetry. There is no way because there is all straight lines and this is odd line. No, there is no rotational symmetry at all. If there is no rotational symmetry, there is no order, none, then there is no magnitude as well. There is no point of symmetry also because if there is point of symmetry, that means it will have a rotational symmetry of 180 degrees, isn't it? So there is none over here. Now, this one, this is interesting. Two sides are parallel. These are in relation. So, now, what if I rotate it 90 degrees? 
because there are four sides the minimum you can rotate is 90 degree when this side comes down it's going to be like this now do you think this is having a the rotational symmetry of 90 degree no it's not going to happen why because this two is not equal right and these sides might these are a little bigger i've done a much bigger one but this for your understanding this and this is not equal so no there is no 90 degree let's try again let's rotate this again this will come down and these sides will go up and it'll be like this now yes you will get the original image why because one and one this will be two and two this is two and two my shapes are my drawings are not accurate but i hope you understand whenever you do this it will be the same shape so this needs this has rotational symmetry the order is two because okay now 180 degree yes now one order is done if you do it again it's going to be something like this but again at 360 you will get one more so there are two orders two times it can be shaped when you rotate by 360 so if it's two times that means the magnitude is 180 degree if the magnitude is 180 degree it has point symmetry because it maps in about its center it maps onto itself at 180 degrees so this is the concept behind the symmetry it is very simple it's just that you should know that point symmetry means 180 degree or you know upside down just think about the upside down the shortcut if you can see yes this upside down it'll be the same thing okay now one way to do this is you, you know if you have a tab or a mobile phone in your hand just turn it upside down just uh, you know if your mobile phone is like this so okay now it's all full screens so just swap it turn it upside down if this is a and b so make it b and a upside down b and a and then see this uh, this uh, you know this image will be the same so just swap it it will be the same size sorry my drawings are always magnified or changed so this is the thing that's a shortcut way to understand the point symmetry whereas rotational symmetry is you need to analyze that object see whether you can map onto itself before 360 degree and if so how many times and then you can easily find it out so that's the end of that topic in the next section we will learn other topics